hell are you? You're probably wondering, where in the world are you, Dino? You never know where I'm going to be. But uh, we're in a beautiful place. This is the Raider Mansion. Now, I've talked about the Raider Mansion here in Sprinkle, Missouri before. A lot of you that watch us. Uh, and I hope you're all on there. I mean, uh, I've come a little earlier than I normally do, but you just get the message. You get the warning and you come on. Of course, a lot of you later will be watching, but well, how are you doing? I'm so glad that we can take this moment to be together once again. And I want to just say this, God loves you so much. He really, really does. And we never take that for granted. And he cares for you. And in a few moments, I'll have Cheryl come here and sit with me and we're gonna talk a little bit, maybe share. And then I got a very special guest. This is why I'm in Springfield. Uh, that's gonna be coming on that we're gonna to talk to. It's something that the Lord just laid, how should I say this, on my heart. Just laid on my heart to do something. And I'm gonna I'm gonna share with that a little bit later. I'm not gonna give it away right now. But Cheryl, why don't you come here and join me? Here she is, here's Cheryl. Yay, Hi. Cheryl, yeah. So good to be with you. It's nice to be here. Oh, it's lovely you love here. Environment. How, look at this yes. place. What? Kind of scope the rooms and let the people see how beautiful this is. This is Raider Manor in Springfield, Missouri. Yes. And uh, the owners we love so much. They're our very fine friends. Wayne here. and Susan. Wayne and Susan. And uh, yes. Susan is a decorator. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this place. It's beautiful. And oh, uh, yes. she's very gifted. Wayne is great, you know. But they own this place. They take this was. What was it before? It was like um, a, a uh, well, convent or something like yes. that. I forget exactly. Yes, once upon a and time. And they got this whole, we're, we were right at the beginning <laughs> with them. We saw this place. We did. How and it looked before. I mean, look at it now. And of course, there's a lot of rooms back there for guests. Yes. You know, they're having, a, they're having a lot can, of Christmas parties now. You can come and stay here. Yeah. Um, and sure bring could. your guests in here. It's beautiful. But they're allowing us to, when she said, hey, sure, do your Facebook from here. We were a little behind schedule. We had, we had some meetings here in Springfield, and uh, we're kind of dealing with uh, uh, transportation for next year. Yes. Right, Cheryl? Yes. Uh, we plan to go back out on the road and see you in your town and bring our hymn revival to you. Yes, and we're looking forward oh, to seeing listen, you. Oh, listen, the last tour was amazing, wasn't it? Was it was great, yes. The people that received Christ. Oh. And they, I, I, got a, I got an email just this afternoon. Did you? Listen to this. I didn't tell you this. No, I haven't heard. We prayed for a gentleman. Uh, uh, he, was something, it was, he had something about his leg. He couldn't uh -huh. walk. Oh. And we prayed. We laid hands on him. Prayed for him. He said, right after that, a few minutes after that, he said, all the pain went. And to this day, he's never Thank had pain. Lord. Has oh, not had to have a surgery or anything. Thank you, Lord. Isn't that something? It is marvelous. You can't, you can't tell me that God doesn't perform miracles. No, this still happens. Don't That's think it doesn't. And you can have faith that it will happen for you. So you just trust the Lord, and we'd yes. be happy to pray for you yeah, and with sure. you. Sometime we will yes. during this, this period. We'd love to. But uh, we've always felt a great anointing you know every time we do this people mm -hmm. feel it in their homes it goes right yes. through that that camera yes that's on us right now so sit there and just enjoy the blessings of god and we're going to just chat and ha have a good time oh by the way uh, i mentioned i have a guest here yes okay? you did but before we introduce him did you have anything else to say before we do this? Just that we love you, and we thank you for joining us every time. And we know we are changing back and forth uh, days, but we thank you because those of you who are so faithful are always yeah. there with us. We appreciate it. Bless it bless us so oh, much. Right? Yes. We're getting cards and people that are saying, you know, uh, we want you to keep going with your ministry. Well, let me go back to what I st started to say. Yes. My mind is going so, you know how my mind goes, right? I know. Okay. <laughs> We read about <laughs> piano players and yes. playing the piano, what that does. Yes. It yes. says that pianists uh, think yeah. on so many levels. Yes. And yeah. you know you don't why, Cheryl? Because when you read a piece of music, you got you got the treble, you got the the alto, you got the tenor mm -hmm. and the bass, and you gotta play it all at one time, plus use all the fingers, left hand, the right hand, the pedal, the, yes. and <laughs> everything. So that's why my mind is on all these different levels. I know. But I mentioned about looking for a vehicle. Yes, okay. Yes. And some of you have really blessed us in the past, and well, I want you to pray you. with us on that, and see what God speaks to you on that level. Uh, as you know, when we went on tour, uh, on the hymn revival, uh, 
bless their hearts. We got a wonderful Winnebago someone donated for us we to travel did. in. And we're grateful. And it, it for really, every month. Yeah, because it got yes. us there and it got us back. We thank you. But it was a lot of traveling. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty hard on us uh, in the travel. Physically. Physically, mm -hmm. yes. yes. And <laughs> I didn't really, we didn't feel it while we were on tour because when you're doing something and focused on the ministry mm -hmm. and uh, playing every night and so on, you don't you don't feel pain when I walk on stage. I don't feel anything because well, I'm, no. I'm so you know. You're conscious just interested in the people, people yes. and what is going exactly. To it's really that amazing night. that way. But it's God wonderful. does that. He gives yes. us supernatural strength, he right? Does. Yes. So when I got when we got back after four week tour, uh, it hit us. Okay, <laughs> our backs and what have you. And oh, listen, yeah. we've told you everything about but, what's going on. Uh, physically in our bodies and so on, but God's, we're feeling great now. God's always there with us to give us peace always. and rest in Him, and it's just been such a blessing. And those of you who continue to send us uh, reports of what's happening in your lives, yes. the fact that uh, you've been healed or you've been, we want to know, you know, transformed really in your life in any way. Yes, we love to hear that. And again, if God speaks to you, because so many of you helped us with that tour last year. Right. I remember we have a list. I even call, I, you know, I, I can pick up the phone and call some of those people. I do know. And they're saying, <laughs> Dino, Dino who? <laughs> they couldn't believe it. I said, listen, you guys have helped to finance us on this tour. And I yes. personally want to call you and wish you, I couldn't call all the people because there were hundreds of people. No, you know? right. But your name came up. Just and randomly. Wanted, yeah, right. You, yes. you heard me. God chose you. Yeah, exactly. And people are <laughs> thrilled. And I just wanted to, wanted to thank them because they're the ones that tucked a little bit in their cards and saying, yes. Dean, we want to help you on that tour. Well, we're asking you to ask God once again if that's what he wants you to do to help us. Amen. To, 2020 is going to be, what, we, what did our pastor say? We're going to have 2020 vision. That's right. That's the cataracts, right. Are, cataracts going to go, are, going are going to go. Gone. I mean, you're going to, it's going to be 2020 vision. In other words, we're going to have Amen. sight to see the treasures that God has for us. Yes. When we read the word oh, yes. or if we're singing a hymn. Like we're doing, you know, right. in restoration. The revelations that come into your life that you've, you know, you would never have thought of, but yeah. supernaturally, God does that. He sure and does. Uh, oh. so through the scripture, if you're reading the Bible or just singing a hymn, uh -huh. God can just open things up into your spirit. You know, hymn just came to me. Show you. Okay. Let me see. It just, someone needs to hear this, evidently. Okay. It's an old hymn, and I don't think I've played it for years. But it it's, goes like this. It's the chorus. then the Lord is there covering you mm -hmm. and blessing you with what you have need of. You want to pray? Oh, Before we introduce, introduce our guest? Yes. Go ahead, yes. Cheryl, why don't you? Oh, bow your heads and just think on what the Lord has in store for you, the treasures He has in store for your life and for what you have need of. Lord, we thank you so much that you Lord, that you know every detail of our lives. And for 
for my brother and my sister that are there who have needs and who are reaching out in their, from their minds, their hearts, and their spirit to you, Lord. We know you reach out immediately with your hand of supply. The supply is there when we ask what we have need of. You give to us what you desire us to have. And Lord, if we ask amiss, then we ask you to prevent us with your love and kindness from getting anything that is not for us, that hasn't been planned by your spirit and your love. But right now, Lord, we ask you for those who are in need financially, first of all, because people have needs at this season of finances, and uh, they have needs for their children of food and clothing and the things that the Salvation Army brings to them. Lord, we just ask you right now, because we know this great organization gave Dino his very first gift from anyone for That's Christmas. Right. Right. The very right. first thing he had need of. So I think you gave just, away what the we podcast. just praise God, <laughs> praise God for, for it, yeah. this organization. And right. now you can okay. we'll say thank you to the Lord for what you have made you up being supplied. You heard Salvation Army. That's right. Listen, guys. Cheryl said in her prayer, since I was a little boy, yes. on New York City on 63rd Street on 9th Avenue, yes. uh, my parents came to the United States and settled, of course, Ellis Island first, which yes. they did, right. and then we finally found a little apartment house right down, downtown, well, not, Midtown Manhattan, yeah, uh -huh. on 63rd Street, and somehow we connected with the Salvation Army. I still don't have to remember the details of them. Well, if my mother were here, she would tell us. She could. I was very small, but I do remember this. I was invited to go to their center downtown, way downtown Manhattan, Yes. and play a piano. This piano was a very special piano. It was Fanny Crosby's piano. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Mm. Fanny Crosby wrote all those hymns. What God does. Little did I realize back then, I found this out later, right. that was a Fanny Crosby house. She was blind and she wrote all these great hymns. Yeah. She actually played that piano, the Salvation Army. So many thousands that something? of hymns. Oh. And to think. And our new got, hymn book has got a lot of those hymns in it. Yes, it does. Yes. Hymn restoration. To think that, that you got to play on the piano where yeah. her fingers were. Which yeah. was there for the Salvation Army. Yes. The whole connection was just it's amazing. Amazing. And they, the best part of the story, because I like to receive gifts, you know that. I do know that. They gave me a <laughs> toy. My first yes. toy came from the Salvation Army. And that's why I'm about to introduce to you the major yes. that is the head of the Salvation Army here in the Springfield Branson area. And of course, we live here. Yes. And we've done some things with them in the past, but this time, it's a very special relationship, and we're going to share it with you. So may I introduce Cheryl? I want you to read his name. Well, I would if I could Major. see it, but I, I can, don't I can have my glasses. Well, I, I, we just, just recently met. Uh, Mr. Major Robert Buttrey. Tree. Buttree. Okay. That's what it is, Buttree. Okay? So, Cheryl, I'm going to bring him in. And I'm going to just get this Are sign sure? right here. Okay, I just, just stand want, by there. I just want to show we're it gonna, while... Well, he comes in. Okay, we will. Guys. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the major. Someone has a question. Someone has a question. Okay, come on, stand up for your major. Right. Here he is. Everybody give him a hand. Yay! Yes. There he is right here. Let me tell you something. This man and his wife have dedicated their lives to the Salvation Army. I mean, how many years? Maybe. Uh, 35 years and growing. 
35 years. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. So you weren't around when I got my first toy. Because uh, well, I'm 77. Yeah, I, so. I, I, I was not. No, <laughs> no. not quite. I was, I'm 70. But you're an extension of all yeah, that. Right. So when I look at you, I think of the men and women that were at that Salvation yeah. Army that love children. And Cheryl, you prayed about this, yes. that food be supplied and finances yes. during the Christmas season. Right. So this is what the Salvation Army does. I know this, but Fair can enough. you just mention what they do, especially well, in this area? In, in Springfield, especially, we, we, we are working 24-7, yeah. 365 days a year. We have two shelters, one for families and one for, uh, for homeless men. We feed uh, uh, many people daily. We feed up to 88,000 meals all, wow. all year long. Uh, we have a daily Imagine feeding. Imagine 88,000 meals. We have a daily feeding program every every noon at our what we call our Harbor House, which is our homeless shelter, okay. homeless men's shelter. We feed senior meals five days a week. We feed children. In fact, as I left my office, we were uh, the children after school program. We have about 60 kids, and and they're eating uh, their dinner there. And we we uh, uh, continue feeding people. Plus, we, we uh, share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which is really important. And, like that. and that is our mission. That's our goal. It always was. And everything yeah. we do is out of that. We, we serve hundreds of families uh, with uh, food that they take home. We, people come in and select the food they want. It's not like they come in and get a bag. Oh, I they see. They actually come in. We have grocery carts, and they go through our, uh, our food pantry, and they choose the food that they want to eat. And then, of course, at Christmas, we serve <coughs> hundreds of families and thousands and thousands of children uh, with toys and uh, families with food. And uh, so we just, uh, we really uh, strive to meet the needs of people because our founder once said, this is from what our he, founder. What did he say? He said that it's hard for uh, a man to receive the gospel when his stomach is growling and he's hungry. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. So, yeah. I agree with that, and that's what you're doing. And then in turn, they're ready to receive because their tummies are full. They're, they right. feel healthy, and they that's right. now they can concentrate on the gospel. That's right. Just think of the millions since the beginning of Salvation Army, the millions of people and children that have been fed that's right. and have been provided, like they did for me when I was a little boy. It, it's it's hard to count, and we're we're in 134, 135 countries around the world. Uh, you know, it's a and you know our founder had a great vision, and through that vision, it it, uh, it all started. Uh -huh. And through that v uh, vision, a young budding piano player came to know us, and we here we, we were here excited we to, to see that. And we're working together, especially this That's evening. Right. This is why I want to especially do this evening's Facebook. I want to major on this because majors here, <laughs> meaning that I have a project that I'm doing with the Salvation Army, and all you Facebook people that have been so sweet, so generous to our ministry, I want you to kind of kind of turn your eyes on this particular uh, organization this Christmas. And I'm going to say this. I've checked it out. Every penny goes to the Salvation Army. That's, right. That's a very important thing to know. You know. There's a lot of scams going on, and I'm going to say this. I'll be very honest with you. You have got to be very, very careful. But I'll tell you what. There's a foundation that has been built by the Salvation Army to feed children, that dear little baby that's that probably is just in someone's home with diapers that they don't know where they're gonna get the food to feed him. I mean, it's, it's, people are hurt, a lot of people are hurting in this right. in this community for sure. Right. There's a lot of communities throughout the United States, all over. And you are reaching out to touch them and say, "We love you. We love this family. We want to feed you. We want to give you." But it takes finances. That's the bottom line. And you know that. I don't have to tell you that. Yeah. Our people know all about this for sure. It takes finances. So this is what we've done. This is what I did. You want to hear? Come closer. Yeah. Okay, do you see me? <laughs> come closer. Oh, what we're doing... Not that close. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was in the living room right there with those people. Uh, this is what we did. I felt that if I can maybe... Put this beautiful, uh, one-of-a-kind instruments together, the piano, and uh, and put my signature on it. And I don't know if you've ever seen my Austrian crystal piano that I use in my show. I'm playing right now at Shepherd of the Hills. 
but it's kind of a, kind of a let's put it this way. My panelist, Ninth Foot, gave birth to this particular piano that, I, that we're going to actually auction or bid. Is that what we say? Is it bid or auction? It's, it's like an, an auction, auction, right? It's, it's an, an auction. It's an auction. Yeah. So yeah. you've got to go. As a matter of fact, I want to, I want to show you, you this. We just got this tonight. And this will be uh, shown throughout Branson and Springfield, Missouri. This is the poster right here. And it reads, uh, Stroke, can you hold that for me? Please. But then here I am sitting there. My wife is, you know, right after a show, we, we filmed it. We uh, took the photograph. And this is the piano right here. But you don't see the glitter that goes. Is it like a jeweled piano? Just like my nine foot piano. And it's got the letter D on that. Okay. It's got the lucite lid. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not inexpensive to make this. I mean, it, it, it takes some money to do this. But I want to do this first class. And then what we did, we, we, put, we did the shell, beautifully done, beautiful furniture. It comes with a, with a piano bench. And I'm kind of leaning on these keys. And this is a Yamaha keyboard, one of the best, one of the top-notch top keyboards. And we place it in there. Uh, and for any young person that loves keyboards or anything, this piece of furniture will look absolutely gorgeous in their house. Or some grandma would like to have this. I don't know. Or you may want to give it as a gift. Uh, but what you'll have to do is make a bid on it. This is going to be fun to see. How much we can raise for the Salvation Army. I really want to see just a lump sum come in for Salvation Army. Yes. And remember, it's tax deductible, right? Yes. Tax free. And, and a lot of people right now are looking for places to put their money. Don't they usually by the end of the year? Typically, yes. Yeah. And what an organization, the Salvation Army. And the stories on here, I won't, I won't read it. It takes too long. But anyway, it talks about me being five years old and, and, and uh, first Christmas gift toy I ever got, Salvation Army, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, but anyway, I already told you that story. So, Speaking of a grandmother or grandfather, um, you know, you could buy, you could bid on and purchase. Some people are. Are you? I, I thought you were. Uh, you could purchase this wonderful piano that Dino's been talking about. Make a bid on it. Yes, make a bid to purchase it for your grandkids, and then it can stay in the family and mm -hmm. go on and on. You know, we have grandkids, but now we have a great granddaughter. Yes. And so to hand down something like this is a real treasure. It really is. And to keep that in your family yeah. and enjoy it. And I want to say blessed. this uh, to my Facebook people that are watching right now, that I saw something like this auctioned uh -huh. uh, about a year and a half ago, yes. and it went for 10, actually, it went for $10,000. Yes. That's pretty much the value. But wouldn't it be wonderful if people would even give more? Because it's not just about the piano, it's about the organization. Mm -hmm. And just mm -hmm. think, the money you plant into this organization, it's gonna be like you feeding the children. That's right. it, it's you actually mm -hmm. putting the food out there and feeding them and, and giving them toys to enjoy. Let's make these underprivileged children, families, a joyous Christmas. And this is what I've done, because this is like my donation to the Salvation Army, but then you can actually have this in your very living room. And it's not very large, it's, it's a five foot. Some of you will probably say, that's too big, I, I live in a small apartment. This will fit perfectly in that corner right in front of the drapes. I know what your place looks like. <laughs> it looks, I know what it looks like. <laughs> but this will look beautiful there, is, and what a way this to is such a wonderful bless Salvation Army. way to grow your grandkids. Yeah. And I'm just, right. since I'm a grandma, I just, but for the lives of yeah. other children yeah. and other families that really are in need, yeah. and need to have a blessing yeah. of food and gifts, just like Dino did. I know, Christmas. Cheryl, that there are people out there that would love to get this for their grandchildren. Yes. Or for their daughter or son. Sure. I know they would. And we're, we're gonna get, and some of you have the finances. I know you do. I know, it's just sitting in the bank, and God only knows when the rapture takes place, it won't matter anyway. But here, immediately, because I believe the rapture is going to be soon. I believe so. Well, though we think they're going right now, the hearings and everything that's going on I, TV. I, I believe the rapture is I'm watching that. I'm saying, oh, what a mess. Right. But, but we're believing that God's going to, going to continue to bless us right now.
yes. with the economy and yes. some of the things that put in the Bible is back to the schools and praying and so on. God is u using the president right now to do that. But uh, the Lord knows. The Lord knows who should be our president next year. But anyway, uh, I really would love to see this in a music room or at a school, perhaps. It, it, or, or in a lobby of an office. I, I mean, this, this is a beautiful piece. People are going to go, wow. At a church. Wow. You're going to yes. say, D, what is that? A lot of places. D stand for. Then you tell them, Dino. No, Dino. <laughs> <laughs> Dino. Some lady, actually, some lady came on uh, Facebook and said, that's my initial. Her name is Debbie. Oh, okay. I said, perfect. <laughs> it's yours. You know. So, what do they do? we got to tell the folks what they have to do to get on here. If so... Let me see. Where's my, where's my phone? We have to show them. I want to show the folks. Um, Do I bring my phone? It's not on right now. It's over there. Oh, okay. Being charged. All right, let me show yours if that's possible. And it's so simple, guys. I want my glass. Oh, here we are. Got one. Okay, you go to the Salvation Army website. Springfield, Missouri, Facebook. Spring, Salvation Army, Spring, Springfield, Missouri. Okay. Facebook. The Facebook. 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 Okay, cool. Oh, I see it right here. Look. They can see that. And then it'll say Salvation Army, Springfield, Missouri, Dino Karsanakis, American Piano Showman, a, a title uh, uh, given to, uh, I don't know if I'll say that. But it, there's the photograph, okay, of me sitting at that beautiful piano. And, ah, I hit something. Yes. And it went to it or what? No. Like what did they hit? We're gonna go right here and hit more. Oh, where it says more. And, we're gonna, and there's the auction site right there. There's the auction site right it? there. Do you see it? Let me hit it, see what happens. There's Dino again. View all items. Okay, you view the, the item. And then it, click the view. A click view all items right there. And click your picture one and more And then time. click my picture one more time. It says Dino's Cartsonock signature jeweled keyboard. Then you go up like this, scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, you see what's on there. We had to put an amount, you know, because it's important to start somewhere. And I think two thousand dollars, absolutely. Uh, we'll, we'll start at that. But you got to you got to at least bid a hundred dollars over that. Am I correct? Yes. The next bid will be twenty one hundred dollars. And that'd be twenty one hundred dollars. The next bit, yeah, exactly. And then what? And then well, then the next person can bid higher. Okay, then how do they bid? Well, they have to create an account. So when they go to this, if they wish to bid, they create an account with thirty two auctions. They they create an account with thirty two auctions because it's a silent bid. Auction. Oh, I see. So they create an account to bid so that we can have their information so that they win. So how do they create that account? I got some grandmas out there. Well, I'm holding this. Right okay. Now. Major, why major. don't you hold that, and we're going to show them right quick. Of course, I may be logged in right now, so... Oh, I see. Next bid. Hold on. Okay. So we have to log in now. That's it. See where it says create an account? Yeah. There you go. So oh, you hit that? Yes. Let's see if we can fo okay. focus, Major. Okay, guys, we're create, the time. In the here. yellow box, it says log in now or create an account. And if you create an account, you have to put in your name and email address, then you'll be allowed to bid. Okay, okay. And I it's think really they, simple. You just yeah, you, you put it in your bid. Yeah. Okay, good. Guys, you got it? The main thing is go to the Springfield, Missouri Salvation Army Facebook page. Yeah, the main thing. And uh, if you'll take the camera again, please, Jeff. And stay here with me, because we're Cheryl. Where'd she go? Cheryl, well, I want to pray for this. Did she leave us? She's coming. Go. And before you pray, Dino, if we could just remind people that this will benefit the Salvation Army programs in Springfield and Branson. And Branson, both. Yeah, Branson. Yes, right. That's very close to us, for yes. sure. That's where we live. So come on over here, Cheryl. Major, I think I'm going to have you pray. All right. How's that? Come on. That's great. Here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for uh, this man and for the blessings he's received and for the talents you've given him and, and for Cheryl and for 
uh, all the music they've made together in their lives. And we thank you, Lord, that uh, you use uh, someone from the Salvation Army to help share with them and to provide uh, them uh, this opportunity to, to give back and to share with others. And I, I pray right now that you be with those that will be the beneficiaries of, of this generous gift that, uh, that Dino is auctioning off right now, that you would just uh, pray and be with those that somehow will receive uh, support, mm -hmm. receive uh, a touch of your love uh, through the donations that are received uh, through this auction. Mm -hmm. Just uh, continue to be with uh, Dino and Cheryl in their, in their ministry and pray that you would uh, help them to continue to change lives yes. and to see souls saved through their music and through their ministry. We pray this in thy precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Okay. There's a lot of prayer around this, I'll tell you right now. Yes. yes. And uh, there are people out there that are going to pray also with us. We have a great Absolutely. prayer team out That's there. That's wonderful. Powerful. Sure. Every week they pray. Well, we all need prayer. Don't we? Yeah. 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 Yes, we sure do. So, guys, thank you very much. Let me play something as we leave, okay? That's a good Major, idea. thank you so much. Thank you, Gina. Okay, we're believing that God's going to supply all the needs that you need for these he families. Does. He yeah, does. and he, he will, for he sure. Does. And for the donations, if someone just wants to donate uh, other than bid, how would they reach you? Well, on our Facebook page, as well as our website for the Salvation Army Springfield mm -hmm. and other Salvation Armies around the country, yeah. there, there should be a button that says Donate. And that will take you right to a spot that you can donate. Okay. Through the Salvation Army, we have a text-to-give number in Springfield. It is, uh, you text SAL to 24365, standing for 24365. Uh, text SAL to 24365, and you can, and it takes you to a donation site there as well. Well, that's good. Hey, that's I'm glad you brought that up, Cheryl. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to play something. Okay, I'm going to play it for you, The Salvation Army. All right. I got a feeling this is one of your favorite songs. You want okay. to stay here and watch? Sure. Okay. Springfield, be sure to come to the Raider Mansion. They, they will greet you like royalty. Let's put it that way. And I know the food is good here and everything is. And then also our show at the Shepherd of the Hills. We'll be there to New Year's Eve. Be sure to come see our Christmas show. It'll be great to have you there, okay? God bless you and bye. Bye. <laughs>